How's it going y'all? I'm with my friend Brandon today and we are going for flathead catfish today. We're on the bayou in Houston. Mm -hmm. We got some live bluegill, circle hooks. Ready to go. Small little weight and we are ready to catch some big flatheads. Let's do it. You get first cast. It's not that deep. Shallow. It's not very shallow. No, it is shallow. Yeah, they'll be in here though. Yeah. Here we go. Wow. Not even Just two like minutes in. Giant two minutes in. That thing. Oh, I'll get off that concrete. Get off that. Okay. Let's see it. It's pulling drag. Oh, it's a big fish, dude. Big fish, man. 65 pound braid. Big old bluegill? Yeah, big. I mean, it wasn't that big. It was it's one of the medium sized ones. Gets the job done. He is fighting. I haven't seen her yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's oh. just a little guy. Still. Still. I thought it was bigger. You got a boat flipper? Boat flipper. <laughs> Here we go. With the boat flip. Got her. Sweet. It's my first flathead in forever. Something like that, yeah. Circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. Get that out. Man, I thought she was bigger. All right, I'm gonna cut it. For the release? Yep, let's let her go. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Ooh, fish. She was ready. Sweet. <laughs> so, here's what we're doing. We got some live bluegill. I got a giant right here, and Here's what I'm fishing with for these big catfish. Just got a little weight. You don't want too much weight because you'll get hung on the bottom. And I got 65 pound braid and I got that connected to a 30 pound mono leader. And the reason I do that is because it doesn't get as frayed and I, I like the mono. It allows the fish to move around better. So I got a giant bluegill. I'm going to hook it, clear some scales. Hook it right behind the dorsal fin, just like that. And uh, whenever you set the hook, you don't really want to set it because you have a circle hook. So whenever you get a bite, that fish is going to eat it. It's going to have it in its mouth. And you just want to crank up and just let the fish run with it and then just reel down, reel down, and it should set in the corner of the mouth every time. So that's what we're doing today. Hope you guys like the video. Me and Brandon are walking to the second spot. We got the bluegill. Oh, that looks really good. Got a big eddy right here. This should be good. Oh, bluegill's moving. Line just went slack. Think I got one. Oh, what the heck? Oh, what do I have? I think it's a big catfish. Oh my, it's not moving. Is it hung? Yeah, holy crap. I got something. Oh, that's a big cat. Giant catfish. Oh my god. <gasps> Freaking gator. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what the heck? Dude, it was sitting so it was sitting on the bottom. What the heck? That's a gator. I thought I had a big catfish. Whoa. That's that's like a <laughs> It's like a seven footer. What the heck do I do? What the heck? Do y'all see, do see this? Tape. Oh, dude, I don't know if we should land this. <laughs> what in the heck? Dude, that's, that, that's a big freaking gator. Do y'all see this? Look at that gator. Do you have a rope in your car? No. Oh my gosh. So we're lit, we're on the bayou and threw up my bluegill, let it sit for 
two minutes and it started freaking out then line went slack and i thought i had a big catfish on i thought i had a big flathead it's on my gopro cool. oh dude that's so cool how how does this happen Gosh. God, that's crazy. Pull it back up one more time. Ooh. There's our dinosaur for the weekend. So, I am not the gator whisperer, so we're not going to risk catching them and trying to take the hook out because I don't, honestly, I don't know where the hook is. So we're probably just going to cut the line as close as we can. It's a small circle hook, so he should be fine. So Got a little... Well, he broke me off. <laughs> no We're going to use this ring to cut it, but as you can see, he just, look, he bit through that. That's crazy. So that was one of the craziest things I've ever happened while fishing. I'm a six foot gator. Like I had, no, I had no clue it was there and just threw it out, threw the blue gill out. Two minutes, it starts going real fast and then the line just goes slack. I was like, oh, I got a big catfish. <laughs> Lift it up. Thought I had a giant catfish, like a 50 pounder. Pulled up six foot gator, so. Dude, that completes that. our mission to try to catch a dinosaur this weekend though. <laughs> Dang. That, that was crazy. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this video, you wanna go see more catfish videos, not gators, uh, please leave a like. Thanks for watching guys.